right, just right here. Hi, everybody. How you doing? I'm Bugsy. Bugsy? We'll explain that whole Bugsy thing another time. Today, we're going to show you samples of UmpireTeacher.com. And my goal is to set the standard for all amateur um, baseball umpires. All right? I'm your teacher, and so is Vic Botaggio, retired major league umpire. And we're going to help you become the best you can possibly be. Right now, we're putting together a complimentary thing to let you see what we're doing. Uh, he's retired major league. I'm a retired ex uh, minor leaguer. So hey, and now, now I do this 24/7. So no matter what you do, youth ball, high school, college, men's amateur ball, any kind of ball, or even if you want to just get a head start to get ready to go to a pro school, this is the place. This is it. And one thing you'll see with my style. Hey, we're gonna have some fun. So stay with me now. Here's the big thing, though. I believe in pro mechanics in all sports. That's what they do for a living. So uh, why wouldn't they know the right way to officiate their particular sport? So here we're doing baseball, but I'm going to use my amateur experiences experiences also to help you guys out out there. We'll spit it out one way or another. Hey, I hope you enjoy the samples. And please, if you like what you see, tell your friends, everyone out there, have them sign up for a free newsletter. We go out once a month, sometimes twice a month. So let's segue right into what we're doing here. This first sample is part of a video I put together discussing the strike zone, and it falls right in line with my second to last newsletter where I was discussing the box that they use in the playoffs in the World Series, you know, on television. Uh, yeah, well, anyway, we're, we're explaining to you what this is all about and that the box is not just two-dimensional, it's three-dimensional. But these are just samples. Uh, the first video I do, and then there's another video where we got John McSherry showing part of the strike zone how to get ready for it. So that's Bugsy at UmpireTeacher.com. Now go out there, have some fun. For a lot of you guys in Florida and California, I think you're still going. Up here in Minnesota, eh, it's starting to snow, so we can't do that. So you just do it. You go out and do it. Do it. See ya. So I want to use good timing and I want to let the catcher present the pitch to me. I want to have my timing slow enough so he can do his thing back here. Straight! Now on that pitch, as you can tell, it maybe started going to the low part of my zone, but I gave the, the catcher a chance, I gave Chris a chance to save it. Ball! Watch my head. I'm not moving my head. I'm moving my eyes. I let my eyes move my head, but it's a very subtle, very subtle. Set! I'm always tracking the ball from his hand to the catcher's glove. And I always give the catcher a chance to buy a strike from me. Ball! The ball right from the pitcher's hand right to the catcher's glove. Straight! Notice my timing. I give the catcher a chance to do his job. And don't let your catcher lose a pitch. Have him catch around the strike zone. Straight! If you notice what Chris is doing, he's getting the ball. He, he receives it and he sets it for me to let me see it in my zone. And either from the, the mid knee, the lowest you want to go is low knee right below the kneecap. That's the lowest. You don't want to come down in here. And you want to call up in here, right in this area. You don't want to get up in the ladder.